Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. Today we are diving into an essential feature of any Flutter app, Pagination. Pagination helps manage large data set by loading data in chunks rather than all at once, which improves performance and user experience. In this tutorial, we will implement Pagination using the JSON placeholder APIs. We will create both list view and grid view examples. So let's get started. And before we start coding, let's quickly discuss what Pagination is. Pagination divides a large data set into smaller pages, preventing your app from loading too much data at once, which can slow down performance. In our example, we will fetch posts from JSON placeholder API in chunks as the user scrolls. So let's get started. So first create a new Flutter project. So here I have already created a Flutter project named Pagination Demo. Once your project is ready, open it in your favorite IDE. Here I have opened my project in Android Studio and in this project we will be using HTTP package to fetch data from the API. So for that add the HTTP package in your pubspec.yaml file then tap on the pubget button to get all the dependencies. Let's start by creating a model to represent the post. Create a new file called postmodel.dart and inside this file create a class named post and inside this class create these parameter user id, id title and body and then create the constructor for this class and mark all the above field as required. Now create the factory method to parse the JSON into Dart object. Next we will create a service to fetch the data from the JSON placeholder API. Create a new file called API service.dart then come inside this file and here create a class as API service then create a string variable for base URL and here add the URL of your API. Then inside this class, create a future method of type fetch post and in this method we will take two parameter, the page and the limit. So these two parameter are the query parameter. So we will use these query parameter to specify which page of data you want to retrieve. For example, if page is equal to 1, then the API will return the first set of data and same goes with the limit thing. If the limit is equal to 10, then the API will return 10 posts per page. Okay, I think you got the idea of using these two parameters. Then add the async here and then create the final response variable. Then here add await, then http.get, then parse this URL using uri.parse and then add the slash post because we are fetching the post. Then for adding the query parameter, we need to add the question mark here. So add that, then specify the page and the limit. Then here add a if condition that if response status code is equals to 200 then we will store this data into a list using json.decode and add the response body then from here return the data map like this and if status code is not 200 then throw an exception that failed to load the posts. So this service class will handle fetching the post from the API. The fetch post method takes page and limit as parameter which controls the pagination. Now let's build the UI using the list view. So for that remove everything from the main.dart file and here create a method as void main and then run app and from here call the pagination demo app. Now here create a stateless widget as pagination demo app and from the build method return the material app and for title add the pagination demo and for home call the pagination demo class. Now come below this and here create a stateful widget as pagination demo then come inside the state class and here create the instance of API service. Then create the instance of scroll controller. Then create the empty list for post. Then add the int variable as page and assign its initial value as 1. And then add the boolean as is loading and add the default value as false. Now come below here and here create a method as fetch post. And mark this method as async because this method is of future type. Then here first add the condition that if is loading then return. And if is loading is equals to false, then here add the set state and assign the true value to the is loading. Then after setting its value to true, come outside of set state and here fetch the post using our API service class. And in the fetch post method, add the page and then add the limit as 10. Then again here add a set state and then add the all the fetched post into posts list. Then increase the page count and then set the is loading equals to false. So this fetch method will fetch the post from the API service class and after fetching the post it will set all the posts into our posts list then it increase the page and change the is loading value. Okay. Now come above here and here create the init state method and here we want that when user load this app then the fetch post method should get called. So here add the fetch post method then here add the listener on the scroll controller and here check 
एंड देन हियर चेक इफ स्क्रोल कंट्रोलर पोजिशन पिक्सल इज इक्वल्स टू स्क्रोल कंट्रोलर पोजिशन मैक्स स्क्रोल एक्सटेंट देन कॉल द फैच पोस्ट सो बेसिकली हियर द स्क्रोल कंट्रोलर रिसन टू स्क्रोल इवेंट्स इफ द यूजर स्क्रोल्स टू द बॉटम इट ट्रिगर्स फैच पोस्ट टू लोड मोर डेटा now come inside the build method and from here return the scaffold and for app bar add the title as pagination demo and for body add the list view dot builder and for controller add the scroll controller and for item count add the posts dot length plus 1 because we will show a loading indicator here so add the plus 1 then for item builder add the context and index then here check if index is equals to fetch post in that case we will check that if is loading is equals to true then show a circular progress indicator otherwise show nothing so for that add a sized box with the shrink then here assign the posts into post variable and then from here return a list style and title set to post dot title and subtitle sets to post dot body now after all this here we need to override one more method to dispose the scroll controller so here override the dispose method and here dispose the scroll controller now let's test this application so save the code and run the app and here my app is get installed so you can see that at initial we have 10 entries now let's scroll to the bottom and here you can see the loading indicator is appeared and after a few second new posts are displayed and the same thing will keep going on so this is how we can achieve pagination using list view Now let's take a quick look at how we can implement pagination with the grid view. The approach is similar but the UI will be in grid format. So for that we need to modify the build method in pagination demo. So for that remove the list view dot builder from here and here add grid view dot builder and then for controller again add the same scroll controller to it. Then add the grid delegate and here add the sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and then add the cross axis count as 2 and child aspect ratio to 3 by 2. then for item count do the same as we have done in the list view then for item builder add the context and index then here we will check that if index is equals to post dot length then here check if is loading is equal to true then show the circular progress indicator otherwise nothing then do the same uh, create a new variable for post and add the current post to this variable then from here return a card for child add the padding widget and give the padding of 8 from all the side then add the column widget inside it and set the cross axis alignment to the start then for children add a text widget with the post title and for style add the text style with the font weight to bold then add a sized box of height 8 then here add a new text widget with the post body and add the max line sets to 3 and for overflow property add the text overflow dot ellipses now save the code and run the app to test the grid view so here the app is installed Now you can see our grid view has loaded and we are seeing the posts data. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and here you can see again the loading indicator is there and after data is loaded the loading indicator has been removed and our data has been listed. So that's it. We have successfully implemented pagination using both list view and grid view in Flutter fetching data from the JSON placeholder API. So this is a powerful technique for handling large data set efficiently in our in our apps. If you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content thanks for watching and happy coding